the test task. We can name it test task. In order to have this task repeat, we must give it a due date. So let's go ahead and give it a due date of today and about an hour. From there, we can touch the repeat selector and we can determine the interval for which this task will repeat. Let's go ahead and select two days. Now you can notice that I did not turn on the toggle for regenerating task. I will explain to you that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and save this task. This task is due today, but it has a repeating interval of two days. So once I select this task as done, it will repeat exactly two days from today, which of course is June 29th. Now, if I select this task to be done again, it will repeat two days from June 29th because that's its interval cycle. This is different from a regenerating task. In a regenerating task, the repeating interval will always calculate from today's date or more specifically after you've completed the task. So let's go ahead and see how that works. We can adjust this task and its repeat cycle to regenerate by simply toggling on the regenerate feature. Let's go ahead and save this task. And you notice that it's still due on July 1st because that was our repeating task, the final interval for our repeating task but it still has the two-day interval. Now when I select this task as done, it will actually repeat two days from today's date. And you can see it says June 29th. Now if I select it to be done again, it will still say June 29th. And you can think of this as sort of a a plant that grows out of the ground and you cut it down by marking it complete and it just grows right back up and so this is an important feature for habit forming because in habit forming you want to get into a routine of doing something and that routine may may break at some time you may miss a task but the important, the important thing is to stay as close to that routine as possible the best case scenario is exercising. If you'd like to exercise every day or every other day, the best way to do that is to create a chain of events and try not to break the chain. But if you should break the chain, the chain should repeat, or that task should repeat, given the original interval that you had set before. This will make your habit forming consistent and very effective, I promise you.